We are Julie and Martin and we live on our narrowboat Rhapsody in Blue. Join us on our journey as we go through some stunning scenery, tunnels, we meet wildlife on the way, as we cruise the inland waterways of the UK. Just come for a walk up towards the, re the reservoir. So this is the reservoir that's fed by the Llangollen Canal, that's fed by the River Dee, that's fed by the Horseshoe Falls. Here you can see the Hurlston flight of locks from here, or well, you can see the first three anyway. Another one. I couldn't film it but where we were opposite the junction was just so so windy it took us about 20 minutes just to get off of the bank um what a difference around here just around one bend unbelievable so much calmer yeah nikki's following us we're just going to get ourselves up to bar bridge we're actually going around the reservoir that we walked around earlier. So that high bank is sort of shielding us from the wind at the moment. It is very, very, very gusty. But we'll see, hopefully we'll just get to Bar Bridge. That's all we need to do. See how windy it is, that wind sock's going mad.
all moored up. Haven't come too far. We've just come to Barbridge and we're just about to have a nice cuppa with Nikki on the bench. It is blowing a gale, but look at the views. How lovely is that? We often get asked who painted our boat. Well, we found out. He actually left us a message on YouTube. Um, and it's actually here. It's Wallace Sheen Boats and his name is Steve Wallace. So this is Steve, the fella who painted our boat back in 2019. He kindly gave us step-by-step -step photos. Here are just a few. The boat was taken back to bare metal, prepped and then painted the traditional way, coach painting by hand. So much attention to detail. He even did the sign writing too. And we think he did an amazing job. As you can see, four years on and I think you'll agree it still looks good. Well done Steve. So here at Wallace Sheen Boats between Steve and his colleague Joe here they do bespoke joinery, engine installation, boat painting, sign writing, fabrication etc etc they also have a well stocked chandlery you call dude pays on and a very friendly atmosphere too Oh, and there's also a laundrette for boaters to use. So if you're stopping at Barbridge, it's well worth a visit. Oh, and I nearly forgot, they also run Black Dog Boat Hire. So if you're thinking of a narrowboat holiday, give them a call. I believe they still have availability this year. All details are in the description below. <laughs> I 
Here's our friends, Linda and Gary, on watercolour. They started off as subscribers and they're now our friends. Safe journey, guys! Yeah. Have a good one! Bye! has given us a lift through to Bugsworth Basin where we all surprised Anthony with a birthday party. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks so much everyone for coming. It was a real surprise. I just thought it was like a handful of people coming for a, a bit of a nibble but... <laughs> <laughs> So we've been here for a few days and we are just going to go up to the junction which is just up there. We're going to wind and we're going to come back to here. That's the plan anyway. Beautiful land. There used to be services here. You'll see the white bollards, but uh, the services are no longer. They've all been taken away. So no rubbish, no water. So we're just going to uh, wind at the junction here. <coughs> I wasn't expecting that, but I should have known better. Gosh. going her way and we're going ours. We've now left 
Bar Bridge and we're on our way through to Nantwich. Blossom starting to turn up on bushes and hedgerows and trees. Lovely. More buds on the trees. We just want the warm weather now. Another bridge. So nice, they named it twice. <laughs> Martin's here somewhere. I'm here. <laughs> oh my goodness. 